Hey guys, welcome to triad study number one. This is just a quick uh, kind of a theory essential here. Um, I'm just going to go through this worksheet of mine. It's triad study number one, of course. These are just the triad shapes on the top three strings. We're dealing with major, minor, diminished, and augmented. Okay, so that's with the root on top, the fifth, and the third. Okay, then to make it minor, you flat the three. To make it diminished, you flat the fifth. To make it augmented, I'm going to go back to the major, I'm going to sharp the five. Okay, it's all notated on that first um, line up there, first system of tabs. The next inversion is a shape. You all know this is a D shape. Okay, but it's G now. Okay, the third's on top. Root, fifth, seventh fret there, okay? To make it minor, you flat the three. Again, it kind of, you know, think of it as D minor, you know, D major, D minor. So this is that inversion. Now that's a sixth fret. To make it diminish, you flat the fifth. So it's six, eight, six, back to major, and here's augmented. You sharp the five, okay? So again, this is a nice good practice routine. Major, minor, augmented, or sorry, diminished, augmented. Okay, the, the next inversion, the last one on the top three strings. We have G major, and this is a 10th fret here. So from the high, it's 10, 12, 12. Minor it. Okay, flat of the three. It's, the fifth is on top. So it's five, three, and one of the triad. G major, G minor. Okay, so G diminished. We flat the fifth. It's on the top string. Back to the major. And now I'm going to augment it by sharpening the five. Okay. So one thing that to note here, it's very special, is the augmented triad. The augmented triad is the same shape every four frets. It's a very cool trick, and that's because the formula, and the formulas are on the bottom. The formula for an augmented triad is two and two. And then if you were to go back to the octave again, it would be two again, two whole steps. So it's the only inversion that can be, you know, on the guitar, just slid around every four frets and you get the same triad inversion. Uh, don't be fooled by that diminished. I know, you know, you probably have heard or learned that trick of sliding up the diminished um, shape. And in this case, like that, you know, that one. Um, by doing so, you are actually creating a diminished seven chord, not a triad. I mean, and that's fine. That trick still is great for as a seventh chord. Uh, check out my seventh chord, you know, video for that, the inversions on the top four strings uh, for that trick. But uh, for diminished, there's actually three different diminished triad shapes. Okay, so it's important that you kind of get all of those uh, and be able to switch, um, you know, between those. Um, if you don't want to make it a diminished seven. Lastly, this is just a quick little a primer here on triads. I'm just demonstrating in the key of G. We have G major, A minor, B minor, the four, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminish, and G major. Very nice. That wasn't in the key. I threw that in. That's C major. But it's kind of a nice old school sound to improvise with just triads, you know, chord melody. And that's just one inversion. Again, I just, I'm thinking the root on top. So when I'm doing that, it's important to know G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. And G, just run the scale, and then... Okay, 
So there's triad study number one for you. Of course, you can apply that to all inversions. This is a very important study because we're going to go into a lot of triad embellishments, especially on the top three strings as we do our improvisation and even chord melody arrangements. So thanks for watching triad study number one. Uh, please check out the PDF that uh, correlates to it. Thank you.